Hi, boys and girls. You know a lot about punctuation, but today we're going to talk about it just a little bit more. So when you see this little tiny mark at the end of a sentence, it's kind of like a stop sign, isn't it? When you're reading, that's when you stop. It's a period. How about this one? That one is a question mark. When we read that, we know that there's going to be an answer and that our voice will go up. So let's try this. If I said the cat is fat. Now I gotta see if you can see that almost, huh? The cat is fat. Now, when I read that with a period, I just read it straight through. The cat is fat. Hmm, what if I change it? And if I put a question mark here, we're gonna read it a little differently. We're gonna read it, make our voice go up on the word fat. We're gonna say, the cat is fat. Do you hear the difference? The cat is fat. The cat is fat? Hmm. That way it almost sounds like you're asking, is the cat fat, right? Now, if I changed it one more time and I put this, an exclamation point, then I have to read it with excitement. The cat is fat. <laughs> so it all makes a big difference in what the, um, the punctuation is at the end of the sentence. Okay, so let's see what kind of punctuation we need at the end of each of these sentences. Because they're not sentences if you don't put the punctuation, right? Let's look at the first sentence. Oh, I see some sight words already. Do you like hot, hot dogs, dogs? Do you like hot dogs? If we read it and keep our voice straight, like we would if there was a period, do you like hot dogs? If we read it like it's a question, do you like hot dogs? Or if it's exciting, do you like hot dogs? Hmm, which one makes the most sense? They're asking something. They want to know something. If it's an asking sentence, it's a question. So let's put our question mark. Do you like hot dogs? That makes sense to me. Here's the next one. I think you can read all of those words. Give it a try. Did you say it? I hope you practiced and tried. The cat is, it's a color word, brown. So let's just read it like it's a telling sentence with a period. The cat is brown. What if it was a question? Our voice would go up. The cat is brown? Or if we were very excited, the cat is brown. Which one would be the best? I think here we would put a period. They're not asking you, is the cat brown? They're telling you, the cat is brown. It's not very exciting, is it? A period works best there. And then right here, this sentence says, oh, two sight words, did you see them? I am excited. Let's read it with a period. How would that sound? I am excited. Let's change it and read it with a question mark. I am excited? Hmm. You're not sure, are you, when you do that? Well, let's try one more time and read it with an exclamation point. I am excited! I think that works best there. So, the exclamation points aren't letters that you have to read, but you do need them when you're reading books. And today, our book, called Plant Parts, has some questions and some periods, like statements on it. So let's look at it, and you can just look at mine for now, and then later try yours, because this one's a little harder to read. But there's always a pattern in these books. So if you practice, 
you'll figure it out. But if you're not touching the words and really looking at each one, you're not really reading. Remembering and reading are two different things. They're both good, but they're different. So here we go. Look at that. Did you notice right away? Question mark. Okay, so today, every time there's a question mark, I want you to circle it. And when you see a period, I want you to make a box around it with a pencil because then you'll still be able to read. Hmm. And it's good to look at the pictures, isn't it? This looks like the soil here. And this hmm, kind of looks like roots. If you look at the picture first, the words will make much more sense. And if you want to color them, color them neatly. If you're not going to color neatly, don't color. Do you know what these are? Did you make your voice go up? Now it's going to tell us. These are the roots. Plants have roots. On the next page, you will circle the question mark and make a box around the period. Oh, there's the roots. Oh, they're going to ask about this. What do you think that is? Yeah, I think it's a stem. Let's see if that's the word they use. Here's the question. Do you know what this is? This is the stem. <gasps> oh, there's a period there. Plants have stems. I might have missed one on the last page. Make a box around both of the, the periods. Here's another question. Do you know what these are? What would you call those? Leaves. So we might find them. These are the leaves. Plants have leaves. There are two sentences, two periods. Ooh, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's the flower. Here's a question. Do you know what this is? This is the flower. Many plants have flowers. So each page really has three sentences on it. One of them is a question. And look what Miss Red missed. I'm going to go back and fix that. It's okay to miss things, but it's good to fix it. See how I added another box? So one sentence says, do you know what these are? These are the roots. Plants have roots. Three sentences. And if you want to color it and you're going to do a good job, oh my goodness, you can keep this and keep it with all your other beautiful books and do a really nice job. Okay? And your job today is once you've read this, go and read it to someone else. Ask mom and dad. And when you read, touch the words so they know where your eyes are looking. That way, if they have to help you with a word, and that's fine, they know which one you're looking at because it's important to look at the words. And if you read the pictures, that will help you with the words. All right, boys and girls, have a great day. Can't wait to see your work and look for questions, question marks. Look for telling sentences. They have periods. And if they're very excited, they might just have an exclamation point.